Hello everybody, just sitting back chilling, doing some art smart. Today we're talking about Yogi Bear. I'd like to do this DVD review. I picked this up from a local library and this is the Hanna-Barbera Diamond Collection of Yogi Bear. I actually tried to do a video of this with some uh, quick clips from it, but YouTube pulled it and said that it had a copyright infringement on it. Oh well. So I'm going to have to just give you uh, the more just, you know, profile uh, screen talk here. Sorry about that. But this is a DVD set that has been uh, released. Uh, it re has actually been around now for uh, I don't know, a little less than 10 years. Uh, it's about 10 years old. Uh, but this DVD is the complete series of Yogi Bear. Uh, what makes this uh, special is that uh, it is one of the few ways for you to see all of the uh, Yogi Bear uh, television show segments put together together for uh, what is basically the first time. Most people have gotten used to seeing Yogi Bear broken up into its little segments and you don't actually see it as it originally was presented. Now I say that though with a little bit of hesitation because uh, when I say as it was originally presented I mean the segments lined up where it's Yogi Bear, then Snagglepuss, and then there's Dinky Duck. That's that's the name of the other character, right? Oh, I'm sorry, Yaki Doodle. I got it wrong. Uh, anyway, th there's the three segments. The duck is the last one. It's the cute little duck that always says, I want my mommy. Anyway, uh, that was never my favorite segment, as you can tell. But uh, you actually see them all lined up together here in this particular uh, DVD series set. Now, uh, what doesn't happen here though is they are not presenting it as it originally looked on TV with the opening and closing credits. There's none of that here. You just see each of the cartoons one after another when you click on that episode. There's there's no opening or closing credits. There's no bumpers. There's no um, indication of what it looked like when it was presented on TV with, with its original uh, sponsor or anything like that. So that's a little disappointing. If you wanted to see what it actually looks like originally on TV, you're not going to really get that here. However, you do get the segments, and let's be honest, that's the thing that most of us really care about anyway. And uh, I will say, I was prepared to like it less than I actually did. Um, I was going to say that it's basically just illustrated radio with a lot of repetitive animation and repetitive stories. And there's some truth to that. Uh, there is a lot of the same animation being reused, especially the walks that they do from one side of the screen to the other. It's the same walk with just the mouths moving to the new uh, dialogue. Uh, so there is a lot of held drawings. There's a lot of uh, simplified animation here. Um, however, the illustrated radio part kind of works. Uh, they have some pretty good uh, uh, dialogue going here. There's some decent quips back and forth. And even though this isn't necessarily the greatest animation you've ever, ever seen, it's certainly better than some of the animation that was being produced in the 1960s, even on theatrical uh, releases. And uh, the some of the dialogue is genuinely clever. Not all of it, but some of it really was. And uh, they would find some unique ways to give slightly different variances to how Yogi would go after the picnic baskets and how the ranger would try to stop him. So there was a surprising amount of variety to it. Is this like brilliant stuff? No, it's it's not going to be as good as the best uh, Bugs Bunny cartoons. It's not better than the best Disney films or anything like that. However, it's not as bad as some people like to say 1960s TV was. It's not terrible animation. It's not great, but it's not terrible. And it's, it's certainly watchable. And um, the Snagglepuss, sometimes he has some decent quips. And heck, even the Yaki uh, Doodle occasionally has a cute little quip. So yes, it's very much radio that's being illustrated, but it's decent radio that's being illustrated in a decent way. So so at the end of the day, as long as you are not like an animation snob, you're probably going to be fine with it and you're probably going to enjoy it. So when I pick this up, I, I would pick it up. However, one thing I will say, there really aren't any special features on the Diamond Collection release of this. And uh, the uh, the screen of it, by the way, looks like a homebrew. It's, it's just really cheap looking there's no animation to it and uh the it just looks like a computer 
readout on the screen. It's it's really not very well done. But who again? Who gives a crap? You just click, you click on it and you can watch the cartoons. And the cartoons are presented in a perfectly fine way. Uh, they're not super HD, but again, they're not supposed to look like that because hey, it's a uh, 1960s cartoon, so it's fine. So if I can get this for 20 bucks or less, I would say go ahead pick it up. You might be surprised how much you might actually enjoy it. And uh, it's they're not as bad as a lot of cartoon snobs like to say that they are. Uh, hopefully this makes you a little bit more art smart and hopefully you will go ahead and pick up some cartoons for your shelf because you definitely deserve to have some good animation art on your TV screen. Mm -hmm. All right, bye-bye everybody.